it's so nice just to see um, just how simple life can be and that um, we really in each moment we have a, a just a simple choice in how we can use our mind and uh, and that simple choice just applies to all circumstances to all thoughts all questions all situations and um, we can either focus in on the, the data, which are your thoughts, emotions, sensations, or other experiences. And we can try and make sense of what's going on and make sense of how we need to be in the world and you know, how we relate and how we live and the actions we take based on our um, analysis and focus on the different data streams, which are always changing. And you can look at your own experience now and see whether that's the case for you or not. Are your thoughts just going this way and that way and then physical sensations and you know, emotions, suddenly you'll feel suddenly happy or suddenly unhappy or... And they're always changing and um, so to try and proceed through life based on just the emphasis and focus on all of these different ever-changing um, descriptions, perceptions. It's one way to proceed and um, most of us are familiar with that way of living life. I know that's the way that I try to live life and you know, I also really like the what we heard in the, the video about a simple practice and you know, I see the way that I, I previously set up my life where I did have these simple practices but so I can see how appealing that way of living was to me. But the practices that I had chosen were practices based on um, rearranging my data. So trying to cultivate or bring about a positive set of descriptions. So trying to make myself feel happy or trying to make myself feel relaxed or um, trying not to feel the unpleasant things in life trying to manage and keep those experiences at bay. And um, I had some success, but um, it was always really hard work. You know, relaxing was hard work. You know, it took a lot to try and be able to relax. And, um, and I adopted practices that I thought would help me with that, but there, there was always something that needed to be done. And there was always uh, an ever-increasing focus on my descriptions about what was going on and how I was feeling. And so to come to the Balance View training and to be introduced to a completely different way that I could live my life. And that there was actually another choice that I had and that I was capable of making. And that was just to relax and to recognise that there was something about my experience that I just hadn't, hadn't really noticed. And that there was something about my experience that was constant and reliable, was always on. And whenever I did notice it, and whether I did make this choice to rely on it, then everything that I was looking for in these other practices was found to be already present. So the search was over. And the search was over once I was first of all introduced to what was um, reliable and always present. This pure perfect presence, this open intelligence that was the basis of everything I was experiencing. And that's really easy to introduce yourself to, you just stop thinking for a moment. And what remains when you do that? Just for an instant you pause all of the descriptions, all of the thinking, they're trying to understand everything. And there is an alertness that's natu naturally present. There's a cognizance. There's a capacity to know that's always on. So it's naturally present. We don't need to try and work for it or try and get it from somewhere. It's just simply who we are. And so I was given this really simple suggestion that for short moments, repeated many times, rather than trying to work everything out or to pursue practices that I thought were going to get me somewhere. Instead, I was given a suggestion, well, why don't you just relax and allow everything to be as it is and, and recognize that there is this intelligence, 
this pure perfect presence that's naturally available right right now and is the basis and essence of whatever you're thinking, feeling or sensing. And this invitation was so clear and was so immediate and was so accessible that um, it, it was, well, I've, I'll, I'll give that a go. I'll, I'll test that out. And as soon as I made that simple choice, just to, just to relax and allow everything to be as it was, there was a sense of ease, there was a sense of relief. And um, also a sense of some um, amusement at just how hard I'd been working to try and get somewhere, to try and be someone, to try and understand everything that was going on and work everything out and cultivate an identity and then uphold that identity and uh, you know all of these things that I've been pouring so much time and money and energy into whereas actually I could just relax and find all of that was naturally present and that was amazing it, it was incredible um, and it was such a relief you know, I didn't have to continue on with all of these complicated ways of trying to live my life. I could just relax and, and be me exactly as I was. And, um, and then to be given the further suggestion that that short moment of instinctive recognition was something that I could repeat. And so that's what I did. I tested it out. I repeated that short moment. And to be given the further suggestion that, well, you can actually help to remind yourself to remember to recognize this naturally present open intelligence just by simply coming and showing up at an open meeting. And um, so I tested that out and I'd arrive at the open meeting and I'd have all kinds of things going on and whatever had happened in the morning or in the night and sort of thinking about that or thinking about what was going to happen later in the day and you know, how I was going to do this or that or thinking about this relationship and the, the challenges in that, and I'd come to the open meeting and I'd get this reminder again, well, why, why don't you just relax and allow all of that just to be exactly as it is and recognize instinctively for yourself that all of those descriptions, all of those thoughts, emotions and sensations, all of them are the dynamic energy of open intelligence. Oh, yes. Now I remember again. And it was quite funny to see how quickly I, I forgot that and how quickly I would um, begin to sort of collapse back into this world of descriptions and how complicated everything became immediately. And yet as soon as I relaxed and recognized open intelligence, there was the simplicity, there was the ease, and there was the clarity of mind that I was actually looking for. There was the capacity to relate with, with openness and ease with people. And, and there was the capacity to... Um, to get things done, because I saw that what prevented me from getting things done was thinking about them and um, getting caught in a loop about why I couldn't do something or why I didn't like doing something or how I didn't know how to do something and just repeating those thoughts and coming up with endless reasons to justify why those descriptions were correct. Um, so the insight that I could actually relax and allow those descriptions to be as they were too. And that when I started to engage with other people in the community and become more actively involved, what I found was a group of people who were allowing things to be as they were, but were being incredibly productive. And that, that was kind of interesting because I had begun to think that when I allowed to be every, everything to be as it was, that there was a kind of um, a passive state there, or there was an inability to do anything, and it was, I can see that without the support and without the, the guidance of a community, and particularly a, a trainer, then it would have been very easy for me to sort of get lost in that kind of a misunderstanding as to what open intelligence was. But just through seeing the example of other people, it became really clear that actually what I was relaxing and allowing to be um, to be noticed and to be more and more naturally present was this capacity to do, was this capacity to speak and express and to exemplify a life of great benefit. And that included the benefit of all beings, including me. 
So increasing insight into what that meant came through repeating the short moments and participating in trainings as well, training up this capacity for clear insight and understanding, and, um, and then also learning from the example of others and really seeing that there were practical steps that I could take to empower myself um, in a really relaxed way, but there were um, things I could do like if I wasn't sure how to proceed with something, making sure that I at least knew what the next step was, even if it was just the one next step that I had to take. And that really made things much more manageable for me because often I had things to do and I'd begin to think about them and they would just seem like they were these huge, huge tasks that were, were never ending. And, and yet all I really needed to do was to know what the next step was. And if I wasn't clear on that, then I could check in with my trainer and we could work out what that next step was. And that really broke it down into a manageable, um, practical way to proceed. And identifying also what will really support me in my life. And then seeing, well, what's the next step that I can bring that about in, in my everyday life? Now, how, how can I look after myself so that I can be of more benefit to other people? And, um, and that came about in a really easygoing way where rather than being really fixed and rigid about the practices that I had um, and then being really upset and moody when I wasn't able to um, do my daily routine but also seeing clearly what does support me and having that routine but being easy about it and relaxed about it. I can be clear about it but it means that when I'm not able to do my daily routine there isn't an immediate collapse into victimhood. I can just relax and see okay well when can I start doing the activities that I see support me, you know, the physical exercise or stretching or whatever it is that you enjoy and helps to support you. But rather than being uptight about it, that can be approached in a relaxed way as well. And then we apply the short moments with something like intuition. And um, just to see, well, what, what's the basis of intuition? You know, what, what knows the thoughts that you describe as being um, your inner voice? What, what's aware of all of those descriptions? And to really see that I can begin to trust myself and my capacity to express this wisdom in a way that transcends all descriptions, even descriptions about intuition and inner voice and there, there is an innate wisdom within, or there is an innate wisdom that we all have access to. And I saw in conventional society that sometimes that was called intuition. But there were lots of other ideas along with that. And it was much simpler for me just to relax and to rely on this open intelligence rather than labeling it as anything. I could just simply relax and I just immediately saw clearly what the best way to proceed was in that particular circumstance and then rather than then needing to go and think about my intuition and when I acted there was that intuition or was that a, a reaction of, in, a, in a sort of contrived way or there was this naturalness of being that was always accessible whenever I just simply allowed everything to be as it was and um, to see that that naturalness of being was synonymous with, the, with, with great wisdom um, and it was something that I could train up. So it wasn't a kind of, um, it, it wasn't something that came along randomly, you know, whereas previously I might have thought every now and again I have this great intuition. But what I found in this training was that this clarity of mind, this openness of intelligence was something that I could take an active part in opening up further. And that's what I found in the training, in the support. So every time I participated in a training, came to an open meeting, listened to some of the media, that openness became more and more obvious. So I could actively educate that capacity within myself. And um, that for me was fascinating. And the, the more I participated, the, the brighter that openness got. And so the, I continue to participate and I continue to participate because it, it still opens up further. It, it's inexhaustible, it's endless. And that's really exciting. You know, learning and learning and learning in this most natural and relaxed way. How to be the most effective and um, beautiful human being that I can be.